Happy 4th of July. Oh man, is this what I really look like? Messy mom bun for the win. Whew. It'll have to do. Hello everyone, my name is Katie Carson. Welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Happy Independence Day for those of you who are American and happy Wednesday for those of y'all who are not. There are some items that are just quintessentially American and very, very Southern and sweet tea, Arnold Palmer's, lemonade with barbecue. That whole idea is just one of them. I've had a lot of requests for tea. I've had a lot of requests for Arnold Palmer's and I've especially had a lot of requests to do ice cubes in a soap. So that's what I decided to do today. If you aren't following me on Instagram, I have two, one for personal life and one for royalty soaps and you can check them out if you feel so inclined. So without further ado, let's get started. How are we going to begin kids? You tell me, I know you guys know the answer. I'm serious, say it to your screen right now. I can hear you. <laughs> if you said pour in the lye water solution, you were correct. I love doing slabs because the batch is so huge. So I'm going to blend this up on high until everything is completely emulsified and that we are at a very, very light trace. gonna put my stick blender off to the side and we're gonna pour off the accent color. That's right, there's only one. The accent color today is going to be yellow because this is iced tea with lemon, so the base color is going to be sort of a brown, kind of a dark gray color. In my experience, the tea color is a very difficult one to nail because if you put in too much brown, then it looks like chocolate brown, but if you don't put in enough, then it's just kind of a watery gray, so kind of hard to do. For the accent color, I have added some true yellow from TKB Trading. And then to the large bucket, I added some dark brown oxide from TKB. Let's blend these puppies up and then we will add the fragrance oil. <laughs> chocolate and I just told you guys about how it leans one way or the other but my fragrance oil lightens this soap so it's better to kind of make it a little too dark because the Boston Tea Party fragrance oil from Nature's Garden does lighten it so take note of that and I have added a little bit of pizzazz into this my own self I've added a little bit of sort of a sugary lemon scent and so you got that lemon in there you got the tea in there it's got like sort of there's some, some watery notes in there a little bit, I guess because tea is, you know, made with water, but it's really, really good. The fragrance oil is all mixed in, so I'm going to do the swirl. This is going to be an in-the-pot swirl today. And as you guys could probably see whenever I turned this around, it's very liquidy. But that's good because I don't want this yellow in here to be too overpowering. And I find that sometimes if it's too thick, um, and I'm just trying to do this as sort of a creamy accent, just little highlights, little dibble dabbles around the soap um, that a too thick base, it won't let me do that. It'll keep all of the contrast a little bit too stark. So I'm gonna start by pouring a whole bunch in one side and then pouring a little on this side and a little, little closer to the top. I know that was really quick. You guys probably couldn't see it very well, but essentially I dumped three quarters of it in this area and then about one quarter of it right here closer to the top so that it didn't go down as far in the bucket. So let's pour, shall we? I've got my mold lined here. By the way, can you see my feet? I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> and I'm gonna pour a little different today. I'm gonna pick a spot, which happens to be right here, and I'm gonna pour the entire slab just from this one spot. I'm not gonna move it around at all. because you can see here these outer rings of yellow, but they're very faint. And that's what I wanted, because again, this is not really like supposed to be all about the yellow. It's about the tea. But I am going to scrapey scrapey my big containy. And all of this 
will also go right here in the middle. I've zoomed down a little bit so that you guys can see the big picture. And I know some of y'all are still looking at this going, K-Day, that looks exactly like a brownie, but after the 24 hour cure, it won't. I will be putting some embeds on the slab today too. That's not something I normally do, but for this soap, it's only proper. I've chopped up a whole bunch of super clear melt and pour, and I added a little teeny tiny bit of biodegradable mica to them just so that they look nice and sparkly. These are going to represent ice cubes. Then I also have some lemon slice embeds and some lemon wedge embeds and both of these will be going into the soap as well. I have the entire mold marked off where the four loaves will eventually be cut and I'm gonna try to keep the embeds out of that cutting point because it's really hard to cut that melt and pour and it just ends up making kind of a mess. And the lemon wedge embeds I'm gonna put in like lots of different ways. Um, Obviously I can't exactly do that with these uh <laughs> big fat lemon slices, but I am gonna place those lots of different ways, but I'll put these in first. Some of the lemon slices will end up being kind of sliced in half, and that's okay. As well, a few of these lemon pieces here, but honestly, it kind of adds to the realism of the, uh, of the soap, you'll see. But I've got plenty of them. So also some bars will have them, some bars won't, but they will all have a few embeds. They will all have at least some of the ice cubes in there. I'm gonna stick this one in on its side. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, it doesn't really matter if like I put an even amount on each loaf because they're all getting chopped up into bars anyway. <laughs> gonna change the direction. Yeah, nobody's gonna know what's coming. Great, now that all my lemons are in, I'm gonna start adding in all the ice cubes because honestly, what is a southern sweet tea without the ice cubes? That's what I wanna know. I'm gonna kind of mark out my area here like don't, don't cross this <laughs> with your ice cubes because you will regret it when it comes time to cut later on. This is just gonna make it a little easier on myself. I know not to cross these. Those are the very end. These bars are also gonna end up being a little bit heavier than normal because all of these embeds make it heavier. So that's something else to kind of note. They're a little bigger than my regular low top soaps. Oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot to scrapey scrapey out this. I was supposed to put this on the top before I put the embeds on. Oh, what a disaster. Well, that's okay. We'll, we'll find places to, to put it in. We'll just squeeze it right in over here. And um, honestly, this will help um, all of the embeds and stick on better, right? Right? I'm, I'm not even making any sense now. <laughs> it's so distressing for me. I can't even talk straight. Let that be a lesson to you all. <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> now I'm going in and putting in, like, I really don't have a lot of room for these big ones. So I'm going in with all the little, the little slivers and that stuff that I have and kind of shoving it where I can. This is like a puzzle. And I hate puzzles. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you guys. This is one of those bars that went in a slab. It looks sort of atrocious, and you're like, what are you even doing? But the individual bars look a lot better. I don't have a lot of soaps like that. I think a good majority of the soaps I make kind of look nice in like loaf form, and then I try to, you know, make the embeds all even and stuff so that it's nice to take pictures of, but I probably won't be taking pictures of this loaf as a whole because it just, it doesn't really do it justice. <laughs> Now I have these little bitty chunks and I'm gonna put those on all the little tiny places like right here where I can still fit them in. I've seen a few variations of an iced tea soap, but I always am sad because I never feel like they put enough ice cubes in there. Like I want as many ice cubes in there as I can possibly stuff. I'm even gonna have some of the ice cubes kind of sitting on top of each other, like not pushed in all the way because that's also pretty realistic to have some of the ice cubes kind of toppling over each other. I know you guys thought I was done, but I'm not. <laughs> like I said, I want as many as I can possibly get in there because this makes 50 bars of soap. So every single bar 
I take special time to make sure it's going to be just as aesthetically pleasing as all the other ones. So they all need to have like tons and tons of embeds. Okay, I think I'm satisfied. I think I've put all the embeds in I can possibly squeeze. So I'm going to spritz the top with rubbing alcohol and then I'm going to add just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of biodegradable glitter on the top. In my little salt shaker here, I have some Fizz Fairy Eco Fairy Dust. This is Chunky Pearl Bio Glitter. So I'm going to put a little of that on top makes it nice and sparkly. And now also from Fizz Fairy, I have some of this silver airbrush glitter. And honestly, I cannot buy enough of this. This is like the best biodegradable, like sparkly stuff you could possibly put on your soap. Just saying. This makes the ice look truly icy. It makes the soap look really cold. One more spritz of my rubbing alcohol and my friends, the southern sweet tea with lemon is complete. This is what it looks like up close. This is probably giving you guys a better idea of what the tea uh, soap bars will actually look like. Seeing it from up high, it's, it's rather disgraceful really. So I will be back in 18 to 24 hours to chop up these bars and to slice them into loaves after this quick commercial break. We are back now to cut the iced tea with lemon soap. Uh, sorry that <laughs> I split the batch and forgot to do it on camera. But this is what each individual loaf looks like. So I'm going to press down here with my single bar cutter. And this is what the soap looks like on the inside. So you can see that chocolate brown has faded back into just sort of, I don't know, sort of a nutty brown there. There's a little tiny bit of yellow, but not a whole bunch. And then we got the ice cube on top and the lemon. Here's a bit of a close up. You can see all those little sparkles in the ice cube and that lemon embed is so cute. Gotta be careful with these ice cubes. You gotta cut real slowly. After I let this sit for about 24 to 48 hours, I will take a potato peeler and we will bevel the edges. All of my cold process soaps have beveled edges with a potato peeler. I think there are soap bevelers out there, but I'm not 100% convinced that it would be faster than doing it with a potato peeler. Oh, and also, you should wipe down your wire on your cutter before you make the next cut so the rest of the soap that is left on the wire doesn't get onto the next bar. Here's one of the bars without the lemon. Definitely still looks like iced tea. And the question of the day is a very important one and will probably tell me whether or not you are from the north or the south. Do you prefer your tea sweetened or unsweetened? Of course I prefer sweet tea, but I tend to sweeten mine with something like stevia instead of like sweet and low or straight sugar. I feel like a good many of my truly southern relatives would probably disown me if they knew that. <laughs> to vote, you can click the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. How many of you like sweet tea and how many of you like unsweet tea? I will be truly interested to know. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below. The big soap release for July is this Friday. On Friday, I will be releasing a video and I will be releasing a video on Saturday as well. Friday's video at the very, very end will include a little like list and pictures of all the soaps that will be released. Release. This was requested a few videos back and the reason why I decided to not like do just a whole video just exclusively for like a preview is simply because I didn't want to clog up people's feeds um, for people who weren't interested in buying soap and just want to watch me make it which is 100% cool. So I will see you guys back here on Friday and on Saturday. Oh my gosh so many videos in July you guys. So many videos and I'll see you guys Friday. So until then bye for now. Yeah.